Well, hello there, folks. How are you? It's lovely to see you as usual. So I hope you are having a good day, whatever you are. So I was looking to do a Halloween -y type recipe and nothing says Halloween more to me than candy apples or toffee apples, whatever you want to call them. But it's just a lovely juicy apple covered in hard candy and they are so easy to make. So this is everything that I used here. But as usual, all of the ingredients along with their quantities will be in the description box underneath the video. But just a couple of things obviously you have to do properly to make sure these turn out perfectly. First thing is your apples. It is re recommended that you use Granny Smith's and then your food colouring is recommended that you use a gel type colouring. So that's the one that I'm using here. So a nice tart green apple. Make sure you've got all your stickers off of there. Now, if you choose organic apples, which is recommended, they won't have that waxy film on, you know, but even if you are using organic apples, I wouldn't skip this step because this is going to be quite important to your end result. And this is going to make sure that you don't have lots of air bubbles or sort of pitted candy on the outside of your apple. So do this a couple of days before you plan on making these. You know, it does sound ridiculous, but it It'll make a world of difference. So pop them into your boiling water, give them a good dry and just let them sit for a couple of days. So yeah, do do that in advance. You can do them all in the same day, but you might not have such a good result. So you're going to want some lollipop sticks to put into your apples. And I'm going to dip the end of my sticks into some lime juice or lemon juice. And this just stops your apple breaking down, you know, because obviously you're piercing the skin. So it's got a tendency to go brown on the top. So if you pop it into some lemon or lime juice, that'll prevent that happening. So that's a good wee tip. But like I said, do make sure your apples are bone dry before you attempt to dip them into the candy. And you do want that waxy film off of the outside because you don't want your candy just slipping off your apple. I'm going to be using a candy thermometer, but you don't need to use one of these. And I will show you when we get there what you can do if you don't have one. So grab yourself a large pan. You want to put this onto a medium heat. Pop in your water and I'm using golden syrup. But if you can't get this or don't have this, light corn syrup will do. And then your sugar, which is a ton of sugar. <laughs> and then your colouring. I'm going to pop in one teaspoon of the gel colouring. And I'm just going to give that a wee pat down just to make sure my sugar is fully submerged. And just give your colouring a wee stir in. It doesn't have to be, you know, completely even throughout because as this bubbles, it will all combine anyway. So you want to let this bubble away in a medium heat. You can stir it, you know, if you want. Don't be afraid to stir it. It shouldn't crystallise. So just give it a wee push round. If you feel as though you have to, I've got to stir these things. I can't help myself. But like I said, if you don't have a candy thermometer, there's a really quick and easy way to check that your candy is at that, you know, hard crack stage. Get yourself a glass of cold water, put a wee teaspoon in, and if it, you know, sets immediately and becomes crunchy, then you're ready to go. And all you have to do now is get your candy off of the heat. So turn off your heat and then gently swirl your apples around and you will have something that looks like this. And all you need to do now is let them set, which will take a couple of hours, best done overnight. But yeah, a couple of hours should do it and they were wonderful. Now I made these for someone else, so I can't show you what it looks like inside, but they were absolutely perfect. Just before I move on, I wanted to say as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over in my Patreon and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And I will need to update those lists. So thank you all for your continued support and for watching. Like I said, if you are going to give those a go, I would urge you, please don't skip, you know, cleaning your apples, put them in the boiling water, get that wax off and do give them at least a day. I gave mine two days just to dry off completely because like I said, when they go into the candy, you don't want, there's a chance that you can get wee air bubbles and things, you know, if you don't do that. And also if you don't get the wax off, your candy could just slide off. So do make sure they're well cleaned and well dried before you go near your candy. But like I said, if that doesn't bother you, if you don't, you know, if you don't want them to look perfect, if you're not bothered about the air bubbles and things then you can obviously do it on the same day. I'm making these for the kids coming around on Halloween so 
I'll be using slightly smaller apples next time. But yeah, if you can get organic, organic is the way to go and you shouldn't have that waxy film on the outside because it's surprising how much wax are actually on these things. So yeah, let me know if you're planning on giving them a go and I'll catch up with you off a soon back here on What's For Tea. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.